Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of St. Rose is being brought to you by Georgian Court University. Gio Panzini is on the court after a 30-day transfer sit out. Panzini wasn't on the floor when St. Rose beat Manasquan 56-48 earlier in the season. The Purple Rose is looking to stay perfect and score a regular season sweep for their rival. The Warriors on a seven game win streak. They've got home cooking in the rematch. A great shore rivalry continues. Defense was at a premium, making every bucket critical. Ryan Fraunheim, a perfect pass to Darius Adams. The sophomore starts off his night with a great finish. Take another look at the small window that Fraunheim had to get the rock to Darius. Manasquan would stifle the Hodge brothers. Other Purple Roses pick up the offensive production. Evan Romano, the transfer from Holmdel, he gets the steal and takes it coast to coast. Then it's Brian Ebeling working baseline. He gets the hoop and foul. St. Rose with a 10-9 lead at the end of one. The Warriors did an incredible job on the offensive boards. Quinn Peters hauls down the miss and gets it back to Fraunheim, who finds the range from three ball land. Manasquan takes a 17-16 lead. Then it's Adams closing the half with a strong drive to the dish. At the half, Manasquan opens up a five-point lead. It's 23-18 Warriors. Third quarter, Manasquan is running and gunning. Adams all the way. Count the basket and the foul, and the squad fans are loving it. Darius Adams leads all scorers with 14. Matt Hodge scored 20 in the first Manasquan game. He's able to get a bucket here, part of a 5.7 rebound effort. The Warriors once again active on the glass. Adams with the miss, Alex Konov with the rebound, and then Adams follows it up. Manasquan goes up eight, 31-23. Here come the Purple Roses with a run. Romano from three. This gets St. Rose going and up the other end. Evan Romano hustles and takes the charge. How about Romano stepping up on both sides of the floor? Then it's Gio Panzini with the steal. Sweet move to the paint. He gets the bucket. And St. Rose is within striking distance. We head to the fourth quarter with Manasquan clinging to a 33-32 lead. Manasquan got a huge effort from Jack Detlinger. He gets the offensive board. Part of his big 10-point effort here as the lead is up to four. St. Rose poised for a fourth quarter comeback. Romano from three. That's a money corner shot. 12 points for Evan Romano. It's a 36-35 game. Then the Roses take the lead. Jaden Hodge weaves through traffic. The freshman gives St. Rose a 37-36 lead with under four minutes to go. The most critical possession of the game comes here. Manasquan down one. Detlinger with the rebound. And look at this hustle. Off the miss, Detlinger keys possession. Fraunheim kicks it to Adams for the lead. No good. But Griffin Lindstrom gets it to Detlinger. He kicks it out to Fraunheim, and that is money. The three-pointer gives the Warriors a 39-37 lead. Third triple of the game for Ryan Fraunheim. He is jacked up, and the joint is jumping. There's 3.08 to go. Manasquan was able to retain possession for most of crunch time. St. Rose forced to foul Alex Konov with 10.3 seconds to go. It's a one and one, and Konov comes up with two big free throws. That puts Manasquan up four and seals a big win for the Warriors. St. Rose suffers its first loss after 14 wins. We can see these two great teams square off down the road in the Shore Conference Tournament. Hope to see that one. 41 to 37 is your final. Jack Detlinger came up huge in the fourth quarter. And the win over St. Rose was extra special for the senior. My dad went there, and I'll probably rub it in his face a little bit, but uh, I'm just super excited we got to beat him this time. And it was, it was just another game for us. Good win. Yeah, I mean, that three was huge, but it all goes to our offensive rebound. If that didn't get two offensive rebounds, that possession, that, that three-pointer doesn't happen. So it, 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 it happens with our team, you know. If our team, if our team gets the ball, then they kick it out to, to me in the three. Reporting from Manasquan High, I'm Rich Crampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.